A homeless tramp invited a rich girl on a date. She could not imagine that. Hey guys, happens fate brings two people together in such a surprising way that it's even hard to believe in these stories. No one ever knows where two lonely paths will cross each other, by a coincidence or by an outer force. But eventually all the puzzles line up into one big picture and then nothing can be changed. And that's exactly what a girl called Amy Abramson had experienced herself. Amy was born in a fairly wealthy family and all of her childhood she spent at home in Sweden. But soon after school, she moved to London, where she ultimately graduated from university. She lived her best life, higher education, then worked as an actress in Amsterdam. And by the age of 29, she became an artistic director at one of the theaters in Vienna. At first glance, everything in her life was well planned out to the smallest detail, except one thing. Amy was single. Due to the busy schedule and unstoppable tours, she couldn't find her soulmate. Well, all of her girlfriends had already been married and even had kids, Amy was spending long and cold nights by herself. Fair enough, she didn't have a lack of attention at all, but everything was some sort of not right. It was 2005. 29-year-old Amy was about to celebrate the anniversary, but yet she couldn't find herself happy about it. To cheer her up, the young lady decided to arrange herself a little vacation to go on a trip to Amsterdam. Once after a busy day there, Amy was sitting on a bench waiting for her friend as they planned to spend the rest of the evening together. She was watching passers-by and some couples and deep down in her soul envied them. There was no person with whom she could share all the possible joys and all the possible sorrows. At that moment, Amy got an idea to make a wish. There's a birthday coming in a week and who knows, maybe it'll come true. Such a dreaming turned out to be a very uplifting moment of the evening until it was spoiled by one poor fellow. Amy noticed the approaching homeless man and usually when the girl sees such people, she runs away from them as she was just panicky afraid of the strays. The homeless man was coming closer and closer but Amy felt like she was literally stuck on the wooden bench she was sitting on. A stranger turned out to be a young guy. He was all dirty and smelled badly from a few meters away, and almost his whole face was covered with a beard. Although a huge clock was hung in front of the bench, he asked Amy what time it was. Amy looked at him in confusion and answered immediately that it was half past six. As she now recalls, it was something inexplicable. I never made such acquaintances. Moreover, I always stay away from them. But that day I can't explain even now. However, the most striking thing was the guy's confidence, as there was such a social gap between them. But he wasn't embarrassed at all and continued to talk. Since there was enough time and Amy was still waiting for a friend, she didn't drive the stranger away and decided to maintain a dialogue. Word by word, they fell into a conversation, and the girl felt that it was very easy with him. The stranger could understand her perfectly in every aspect. But what's more drew her attention is his beautiful brown eyes. Amy couldn't look away and the homeless man couldn't take eyes off the beautiful girl either. This entire time, people looked at the couple with a glance of surprise. The conversation lasted no more than 10 minutes, as then a friend came up. Before leaving Vic, that was the guy's name, asked for a date on the same place in five days as a joke. His confidence amazed and was captivating at the same time. Of course, the girl didn't plan to come on the appointed day, and most likely the homeless person would also forget about it, she thought. But the next week, Amy couldn't get Vic out of her head. She reassured herself that she doesn't lose anything, she still had her whole day before coming back home. With a leisurely gait, she decided to take a walk not far from the bench where they were sitting at on the first day, simply to see whether the homeless person came there or not. Observing from afar, Amy was surprised to find him. Their next meeting went just fine. They talked a lot about life and got to know each other better, Amy recalling with a smile. The homeless got ready and even tidied up a little, but his hands and nails were terribly dirty. He arrived in a small children's bike and brought with him a suitcase, which I thought only crazy people could own. Then I found out that there was his sleeping bag and can of beer inside. On the same night, a homeless Vic said that once he was traveling across Europe and the money quickly ran out. The trip didn't turn out as he planned. He was from the United States and he had no parents. Having just small earnings occasionally, he was spending everything on alcohol. This was indeed his weakness, and he couldn't do anything about it. That's why he ended up on the street and has been living in a park for over a year. Vic understood that he was just a homeless alcoholic, but after first meeting with Amy, something changed. From that day, he didn't drink a drop. They spent the whole night talking, and at the end of it, Amy confessed that she had to leave the city on the next day. Not knowing if they'd ever meet again, the girl left her phone number and went home. Back there, she couldn't stop thinking about this holiday romance. But where is Amsterdam and where is Vienna? On one day, when Amy was turning 30, her phone was pouring of calls. Hearing another one, she reluctantly picked it up and expected to get yet another congratulation. 
but instead she heard the familiar voice of Vic. Her heart trembled. He said, I remember that you have a birthday, so I decided to congratulate you personally. Amy was expecting to hear some simple birthday wishes once again, but the man, to her surprise, said that he wants to go up and see her. She realized he's here. Asking how he could manage it, Vic said that he came on the train. He was actually planning to be there two days earlier, but the man was detained by police for stealing chicken in a store. The girl remembered that day for the rest of her life. Since then, Amy and Vic had never parted again. They started to live together, and from the very first days, Vic began looking for a job. From the day they first met, Vic hadn't had a drop of alcohol at all, and soon after a month, it was not possible to even recognize him. This handsome man couldn't be that lonely and unkempt homeless man from the park. Day after day, overcoming many bureaucratic obstacles, the couple got married two years later. In the beginning, Vic was working as an electrician and could provide for him and Amy. However, six years later, the couple had twins, and the man realized that from now on, he had to work even more. Therefore, he decided to open a small company that specializes in repairs. Since then, 15 years have passed. The couple lives well, and their children know how their parents met, even though they still don't understand the nuances. They just find it funny that their dad used to live on a bench. Later on, Amy wrote a book, How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in the Bushes, because she literally found her happiness right under the bush. Together, they were invited to the interview by one of the British channels where they talked about the book and their love story. As Amy says, I've never regretted that I came to that date. We never quarreled, and this is what I've dreamed of all my life. Each of us has our own unique love story. We are connected with our soulmates, and our story is the best proof of such. Friends, this is all for today. Please write your opinion of this uncommon couple and rate the video also. See you soon.